All right, here we are with uh, Chef Master uh, Leonardo. Oui, oui. Leonardo. So what are we doing tonight, Chef Lenny? I detect a Western Colorado accent. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be my French. Oh yeah, that's oh. it. Yeah, never mind. So what we're doing is we're putting some marinated, uh, um, nice little wagyu fillets right on the grill. What kind of fillets? Wagyu. What is that? That's a cross between American Angus beef and a Japanese, um, 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 what's that type of beef? Is that Jacobe beef? That's it. So it's kind of a cross between them two. So what kind of an awesome marinade's on this steak? So, here, right? so we got uh, we got rosemary, chives, parsley, garlic, black pepper, and canola oil. And some Colorado marijuana. No, no Colorado marijuana. Oh. That's a, that's, that's the other recipe. It's federally illegal. Oh, that's right. That's true. I just want you to know that. The um, <laughs> but what we do have on there is no salt. Never put salt into your marinade because it draws moisture out of your meat. We're going to put salt on when we start um, laying on our coffee crust. Ah. Just like we did at the pool party. That's Remember? right. The Vegas pool party. Don't make me start it again, guys. There it is. <laughs> well, we sort of do have a pool here. Only it's a... Oh, my I'll gosh. It. I'll do it. I'll belly flop right here on this cement stuff. Well, you probably... No, no, no. <laughs> on the cement stuff. The cement pond? Down to the cement pond. Hey, maybe we could do a twofer. A what? You heard me. The McNabb brother belly flops later <laughs> down at the lake. A brooper? A twofer. A two twofer. for one. Not only do you get the Chef Lenny belly flop, but you get his brother too. Are we going to do a belly flop? The McNabb family belly flop? Oh, that's, the, that's, that's what makes things go along well. What's that? There's something else in there. Yeah, these are looking good. They smell good, too. Could you guys smell that out there? They're delicious. And here's uh, all right. assistant Katie over here. She's been slaving away in the kitchen all day. Get what? over here. Yeah? Holy Moses. Okay. Do While Kara and I were shooting guns all day, all right. Katie was in the kitchen. Take this. All, all right, me. guys. I'm going home. <laughs> She's got this under control. All right. All right, chef. What are we going to do here? You know what you got to do there, Chef Katie? Get the lid off the rub. That's a good thing. Yeah, that container doesn't look as fancy as Daddy's Chef Lenny rub container. Matter hold of fact, on, that, hold on, hold on. That looks here. like something that was used Let's for night what, crawlers. This, this, <laughs> this right here. That's night crawlers in there. I know. Was <laughs> night crawlers? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever handled night crawlers? Because that would help digest the rub. Because we used to dig yep. night crawlers out of the underneath the big pine tree over where the where the rhubarb grew, where we'd park the uh, the, the Gran wagon. Torino, the Gran, the Gran Torino station wagon. We literally had a Gran yeah. Torino. It was yellow with yeah. wood sideboard <laughs> yeah. sides. What and family I, in New Hampshire doesn't have a Gran Torino station wagon in the first, woods behind their house? First kiss <laughs> I ever got was in that parked Gran Torino way in the back. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's where you took your first date. In a parked car under a tree out so in the woods. So now we're going to liberally wow. throw this spice right on. Just like that. See that? See how that works? This is why Chef Lenny has no arm hair. Look at that right there. Arm hair. Wow. Liar. Yeah, all right. All right. Liar. I don't know. Look a little bald on the hands. I'm telling, so just saying. We'll turn it over immediately, okay? Because we don't want that sugar to get wet. We want that sugar that's in that coffee crust, mm -hmm. which is one part coffee, one part sugar, one part lorry seasoning, to caramelize. So that'd be three parts total. <laughs> or one part total. Wait a minute. Now you're confusing me with your Colorado math. Well, that's one part. There's three parts to the one part. <laughs> to the one hole? Oh, that's that's is it three I mean. holes to a part? Yeah, that's why he works for smart people. <laughs> all right so what are we are right, we're turning these bad boys over Ouch. now how many iterations of flipping and firing I'm say i'm going to do um uh at least two two minimum wow when i Maybe did it four. i did like 20 maybe that's the problem 
Or maybe it was the 12-pack I had while I was grilling. Oh, no, it was the 20-pack you had while you did those two flips. <laughs> yes. So you just confuse the numbers. And I find, uh, you know, a delicious Belgian white makes a delicious marinade while you're grilling. Oh, look at this. Look at this little... What do we got going on? Yummy chunk right here. Is that the tester? Try that. Ow, 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 ooh, ow. Can you, can you all ooh, see that? Ooh, try this. Ooh, ow, ooh, ooh ow, ow, ooh, That's ow. hot. Ooh, try it. That's hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good stuff right there, Chef Lonnie. Good stuff. Mmm. Was that the tongue? I don't know what that was. Was that like a frog tongue right, or something? Literally bend the uterus. That was much, oh, tongue. that was much better than the pig eye that you had me <laughs> eat did, last night. I did, I did make him eat a pig eye last But no, he ate one God. too. Actually, it was not bad. No, Much, pig eyes aren't good. They're better than cow eyes. Well, and they're, they're, but they're worse than sheep eyes. But much better than elephant eyes. Yes. But or, much easier to get to than giraffe eyes. <laughs> Why not that? Or, uh, yeah, or orca eyes. Yeah, orca eyes. There's that, ever since the incident in SeaWorld, they don't let me back. <laughs> <laughs> that led to a death bomb. Quote, unquote, the incident. <laughs> the incident. <laughs> Always terrible. be known as the incident. I can't remember that. I can't remember that. And you see how I'm just turning these here? Right. Now, this is the beauty of this at home, folks. You know, we're not going to be eating probably for at least another, uh, about an hour, hour, hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. So you say, what the heck is Chef Lenny doing cooking these things now? Well, what? <laughs> but wait, there's more. What there's you, more? What you're really doing here is pre-searing this here meat. Yes. And then what we're going to do is take it off the grill and place it in a, maybe like in a, Hot oven! <laughs> Hot. Well, what temperature would you place that at, Len? Seven million degrees! <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I think you're exaggerating. Okay. Six? Like five and a half million degrees. For how long, though? Like 27 <laughs> hours! <laughs> that sounds awesome. That's perfect. So it's like a crock pot kind of a thing. What you want to do is crank your oven up as high as it can go yes. at home. Like, seriously, as high as it can go. Yep. Not broil, mm -hmm. but just as high as it can go. And then you want to get it good and hot and then throw those steaks in there for about another four or five minutes. Yep, absolutely. After they've been seared off. Uh huh. Shoot fire, you can bring everything. Look at it all gets that. You get up in there and then things coming into something. And you got yourself a nice little crusted steak. Look at these things right here. You ever thought of putting a nice, delicious butter sauce, like a butterscotch sauce, I should say, on top of these? Butterscotch fillets? No, see, first of all. <laughs> butterscotch is more of a chicken see, sauce, brother, isn't it? Brother Rob over here, is he thinks butterscotch goes with everything. This is true. You do not want butterscotch on these. But a nice foie gras um, butter would be nice. Oh, oh, foie gras. That's French for butterscotch, I believe. <laughs> no, no, that's not. It's, it's fake. Wrong. It's foie gras. Foie means fake. Gras means butterscotch. Fake butterscotch. Fake butterscotch. <laughs> He's not even giving me the like the 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 the, the props to make a real butterscotch. That's <laughs> me a fake butterscotch. Have you ever made butterscotch? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay. To be honest. <laughs> All right. So it's butter and scotch, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, it's a liquid thing. Well, does it ca does it matter if I consume those on separate occasions? Yeah, it's sort of like a slippery nipple. You know, the, well, I mean the drink. Oh. Ah, yeah. So, but you put it in layers, you know, butter, yeah, layers. scotch on the bottom with a nice coat of uh, oh, butter, geez. melted butter on the top. Oh, and then these little steaks. Wow. All right, we're taking them off now, folks. All that nice. Uh, Look at this deliciousness here. All that nice um, coffee has given us this deep, rich, earthy flavor. And what kind of coffee do you use, Len? I use, an, I use a Kona coffee Kona. from the Big Island, from Chuck Moss. From Kona, Hawaii, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Chuck uh, Moss? Chuck Moss owns this uh, coffee plantation over there. And I send him half a gallon of Palisade Gin, which is made just down the road. Okay. And he sends me back fresh roasted coffee beans. So you do some of that Colorado bartering. I do. And um, his daughter, Megan Moss. Megan Moss. Um, works um, directly for the public relations for the NRA. No kidding. Which, anybody out there, you need to join the NRA immediately 
and show them your love because they're the ones that are going to keep you safe for the rest of your life. Because if you join right now, the first 21 callers get a free steak. <laughs> <laughs> We'll send yes. it. To, yeah, we'll send it to you in a mail pouch. Uh, one of these. <laughs> exactly. One of these. Very steaks. These NRA steaks. But because, wait, there's more. Because count them. How many steaks are here, Rob? I believe that'd be that, that's count 21. Steaks. Well, let me see what we got here. We got four across, five deep, with one extra. 21 callers. The next 21 callers <laughs> to the NRA with a lifetime membership gets a free steak. All you got to do is come get it. All you got to do is head up over here. And Kessler show us Canyon. your weapon. Because again, show us your weapon. It has to be a 9 millimeter or above. Correct. 22. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter would be okay. Under 12 years old, you can have a 22. But other than that, you yeah, got to yeah, be yeah, upper yeah, yeah. above them. Then I'll see you well, and take on the Well, outstanding. What we're going to do now is go get these steaks in the oven. Thank yep. you, Chef Lenny. Thank you, guys. And remember to... Uh, oh. Wow. Oh. Always make sure that you have your knees here yep. to um, handle all hot objects. Darling, you grab that pan, <laughs> and uh, we'll be inside.